forgiveness from yourself. So you've gone to God for forgiveness, you've taken the hard step and you've made it right. And just remembering that you may go to someone um, and, and say you're sorry and they might go, well, get stuffed, I don't care, I still hate you. That's not your problem. You've done what you can. Their grudge is now there for them to work through. Don't let that go, but you can't, st- you can't beat yourself up for those mistakes. You've got to learn to let it go. You've got to learn to get out of the way to make sure that you're not creeping back into that feeling of guilt all the time. You've got to make sure that you understand. God forgave, it's done, you've made it right, and now you just whew, gotta be okay with it. And you'll always feel what you did. I still feel so gross when I think about that thing that, hallelujah, oh, <laughs> oh you just muted me. Oh, I see, the message is that bad. <laughs> Sam was one of the people who didn't care about guilt this week. Okay, <laughs> um, so you'll always feel what you did. I still feel very emotional about what I did all those years ago, but I no longer feel guilty about it. I don't carry that same sense of shame around it. I just feel bad. Um, And Paul talks about the wrong things that he did, but he always talks about it from a state of forgiveness. It's part of his story. And when we go through this journey, when we go from being someone who is this to this and back to this, it becomes part of your story. It's your testimony that you can tell. You're a changed person. And I bet through that process, you've learned and you've grown. You've done something new that you hadn't done before. You've reached into a place in yourself that was really difficult. It was hard, it was hidden, but you did it anyway and you're back to this, you're breathing easily because grace feels amazing. It feels like light, it feels like the burden is gone. That's what we want. We wanna travel through this over and over again. And God gives us all the tools to do that. You face the worst parts of yourself and you walk through the wall, you were guilty, you were never condemned. There is no condemnation read, so don't condemn yourself because that's not why God sent Jesus Christ. He put a plan in place so you would never have to carry the feeling of guilt for any more longer than you wanted to. It's up to you, really, how long you wanna carry it for. So what if we all started facing that guilty feeling, that little knock on the door that tells you that, hang on, this isn't feeling right, you need to do something about this, rather than hiding from it or justifying it or ignoring it? How much less weight would we carry every day? How much, how differently would you operate as a person How different would you operate spiritually? I mean, Pastor Kev was talking about that this morning. Maybe you're spiritually sitting because actually you're kind of carrying a whole lot of guilt about stuff and you don't feel like you can stand up and worship. You don't feel like you can pray because you feel like there's a big barrier between you and God. That barrier is you. Like, that's just how it goes. And I know I was that for a long time too. God gave us a way to release the guilt that makes us lash out or hide and be controlled by our emotions. He gave us a way to be free. Guilt doesn't need to be the boss of you because God already went full boss mode on guilt when He sent Jesus Christ to earth to die on the cross for us. He already took care of it. Guilt is only there to let you know that you need to do something because something isn't right. And if you ask, if you don't even know what it is, ask God, He'll show it to you. He's really good at that. So you make it right by taking it to God, by making it right with others and getting out of the way, letting it go. Ben, forgiving yourself for being human. You know, God knew we would do this dumb stuff. That's why he sent Jesus. 